We are glad to welcome you on the Hard Reset YouTube channel. And today I'll show how you can set this Exo Ranger X7 Plus drone up all the way from the box to flying it. So once you get your newly purchased drone, take the aircraft off the box, take the remote controller off the box also, and take one battery. Or you can just check whether the battery is inserted into your drone and if it is just well go from there if not take a battery and insert it into your aircraft making sure that it can be powered on next thing uh that we need to do is to assemble everything or well unassemble should i say unfold everything simply so the remote controller take those things out those are the phone holder and antennas and also unfold those legs at the bottom those legs are here to help you to well hold the drone with well more convenience or so now let's unassemble or unfold the drone as well to begin you'll need to unfold the uh, upper legs the legs that have those stands on them then also unfold the bottom legs as well i forgot to mention it in the video itself but i figured i'll uh, do that in this little uh clip so before you actually power your drone on before you switch it on the first time do not forget to take off this protective cap that protects the camera and its gimbal and well now proceed with the video now uh, we gotta pair the remote controller and the drone with one another but they are somewhat paired from the box, from the factory. So you will need to do that procedure once and after that they will be paired automatically. And even the pairing itself is also automatic. You will not need to do anything besides switching those things on. So that's fine to begin. Power on the controller. Maybe wait a few seconds for it to wake itself up and do its magic. Then at the battery of your drone, you have this power button. So press and hold it until those LED lights start glowing. And now simply wait uh, anywhere between like 10, 15 to 60 seconds for them to pair together. Which you can tell by this green indicator lights. If you see them, that means that the RC and the drone are connected. Uh, and paired and connected. Now we gotta connect all those stuff to our smartphone and uh, that can be done very easily. So first you will need to open your, well, make sure that the drone is powered on open your Wi-Fi settings and connect your respective smartphone to the drone's Wi-Fi network. Uh, you should see the open network here on this list once the drone is switched on. So let's wait for this network to appear here. Maybe we should reboot the drone in order for it to appear. Let's try that. Yep, here it is. So connect to the network, you should have it named the same. So perform this connection. Now the phone and the drone are interconnected successfully. So go into App Store or Google Play Store, it depends on what system your phone uh, uses. Make sure that you have like an actual Wi-Fi connection, of course. So let me get back to my Wi-Fi settings and connect to an actual Wi-Fi network that provides me with an internet. Since obviously in order to install the app, you need to have your internet connection. So find the Fly Ranger app here. Still no connection, why? <sighs> yep, here it is. So find this app and get it installed. The app name, as you can see, is Fly Ranger. The developer is uh, Exo Drones. Now we can go ahead and launch the app. And once we do that, you will need to grant all the permission that are necessary for it to function properly. So grant all the permission that it uh, vitally needs. Here, before we actually fly this drone, you'll need to perform a calibration 
of it. Uh, so go into prepare to fly section. By the way, obviously you need to, in order to have this connection between your phone and drone, you need for your phone to be connected to the drone's Wi-Fi network. So make sure that once you want to fly it, you do that. Or once you do any manipulation with your drone, do that. Uh, so here we can start the calibration. Tap at the calibrate button. Uh, at the start, we will need to rotate the drone horizontally. So do that a few times. Just rotate it alongside its horizontal axis like so. As you can see, the uh, this animated arrow jumped from the horizontal to vertical calibration. That means that the horizontal calibration has been performed successfully. Now point your the drone's camera downwards and rotate the drone the same way, but this time alongside the vertical axis or around the vertical axis rather. So do that rotation. Make sure that your rotation uh, direction follows this uh, arrow or well, this very convenient animation. So do that for some time. I think now it should be enough. Since the connection between your phone and drone is, and all their communication goes through a Wi-Fi, you can obviously tell that this is not the best type of connection to run all those communication through. So. It might take a while for the app to acknowledge that the physical calibration of the Dawn has been uh, performed successfully, or I mean, the physical calibration of this drone has been performed successfully, yep. So yeah, you can spin it for like, uh, I don't know, 100, 200 times, and it will not acknowledge it properly. And then you have to restart the whole procedure, but you know, it's a very cheap drone, so you know what you get yourself into, I guess. Uh, it still doesn't, uh, I mean, it, it still haven't recognized the fact that I'm rotating it and I've rotated way more than uh, three times already. Please, watch, should I uh, slam this drone against the wall for you to acknowledge that the calibration is finished or what? Like, okay. Um, anyway, once this all calibration is performed, you just uh, automatically will be brought to the second step. Here you gotta simply place the drone on a flat surface. Then tap at the step two button and the calibration gets completed and well, that's about it. As you can see, everything is interconnected together. Now just uh, place your phone inside this little bars or hooks on your remote controller. So place it like so. So here, once your smartphone is mounted, as you can see, the connection has been established successfully. So all that it's left to do is to unlock those motors, tap at the fly button and well, begin flying. Anyway, as far as this particular video goes, that'll be it. So thanks for watching and bye-bye.